again, I'm going to revise some items of the test. Oh. Our lesson today is called Zooming Mid-Year Exam Paper. So we are going to look carefully uh, at, the, at the items of the exam paper for the midterm uh, after, I think, maybe two or maximum three weeks. So we are going to look uh, at uh, all the questions most of the questions and the specifications and type of questions. And don't worry, I think you will find things easy. So the first, the first type of question is reading. And it is the same uh, as before. You are going to uh, have uh, reading uh, questions, of course. And in this midterm exam, you have three texts only. So we have text one. It is Inf uh, informational, non-prose, and as we said in our first uh, lesson when we talked about text one, it's, uh, it, it means that it is uh, short and it, has, uh, it only deals with like menus or uh, graphs or brochures or content pages. So again, remember when we said uh, before, it's not so difficult and you'll find it very easy to answer. The type of questions are different. You have A, three multiple choice items, and of course, of course, all the options are four, okay? So this is not so new. You have only three questions on uh, MCQs, okay? And then we have two completing statements where you have two sentences and you have to find a word or to complete the word which is missing and you have to find the information in the text and of course we have C we have two true or false items okay two items of true or false then again we have we are going to look at text 2 and text 2 is descriptive uh, it's of 180 to 220 words. Again, we talked about text two in our second lesson, if you remember. And we, again, we talked very, uh, we talked in detail about these texts and these questions. We have three true or false items where you have a statement and you have to uh, mention is it true or false. Also, we have four completing, uh, four completing, of course, a graph or diagram or chart or map or a table. So it's like you can have a table or a map or a chart or a diagram, and you have four spaces to complete. And of course, all the information is mentioned in the reading text, in the passage itself. And you have three questions. They can be WH uh, questions or they can be yes, no questions, okay? Then we, we have text three and text three is narrative and this is the longest. It's, it, uh, it is composed of 250 to 320 words. So the, the minimum number of words is 250 and the maximum number is 320. And again, we have here the type of questions. We have four blanks completing a table. So here you have to have a table with four blanks to complete, okay, or four spaces. And the information is mentioned in the text. Also, we have three completing statements, uh, two true or false items. So two questions, true, true or false. And then we have four multiple choice items of also four options. All, be careful that all MCQs are of four options, okay? These four items, and wh when, we s when we say items means questions, okay, or statements. So these four items, they are divided into two lexical items. And by lexical items, we, means mean we mean meanings of words. So they can tell you, as we said in our lesson, in lesson three, uh, let's say this word means, and then you have to choose the correct meaning or the right meaning or according to the text. And two reference words. Again, of course, when we say reference words, we mean pronouns, okay? So let's say they will 
uh, mention one of the pronouns in the text and you have to refer it to its noun. This is, I think for you is very easy. Also, the last type of question, we have two questions. Uh, again, they can be WH questions or they can be yes, no questions according to the, the question you, you, uh, you will find in the exam, okay? So again, this, these are the types of questions in, a reading, in the reading test, okay? So then our main focus today is on vocabulary and what are the types of questions you'll have in, uh, in the uh, vocabulary part of the exam. 10 MCQ vocabulary items and of course again all as we said all, MC, uh, all MCQs are four of, are of four options okay and then you have four blanks word uh, sorry five blanks word formation table so you have a table and we are going to look at that uh, with the word and then a sentence and then you have to uh, com to complete the, the sentence using the correct part of speech. This is what we call word formation, okay? And as we mentioned in the grammar lesson, when we say parts of speech, it can be either noun, adjective, verb, or adverb. Remember, we said that in our grammar lesson, okay? Then we have, of course, gloss test with, of, uh, of five blanks and four options. This is, I think, something new, and, but we looked at it in our grammar, uh, grammar test or w when we dealt with the grammar question in our last lesson. So I think for you now, this wouldn't be new, totally new, okay? So we are going to look at some of the questions and ways and how to tackle these questions concerning vocabulary, okay? So our first question, as we said, is of course MCQs or other, um, other word for it is choose the most suitable answer from A, B, C, or D. And I think you, you are, all of you are prepared for tac to tackle such, a qu such questions, okay? So we have number one, she, her birds before going to bed. And then you have the four options, A, wishes, B, feeds, C, doubts, and D, stays. So, she, her birds before going to bed. So, which, is, which one is the correct answer? Of course, here in order to choose correctly, you have to look at the meaning. Remember, we are looking here at vocabulary. So you have to look, for the, uh, to look at the meaning of the sentence and, of course, the meaning of the words. Which word suits here? So, of course, when you, when you look at the sentence, you have here birds. So what do you think would, would come with whatever she does for her birds? Okay? Can we say stays? No. Can we say doubts? No. Can we say wishes? Yeah, no. So what would be the correct answer? Feeds. Very good. She feeds her birds before going to bed. And here when we say feeds means that she gives her birds some food. Okay, before, of course, before she goes to bed. Okay, going to bed, he refers to, to, to her and not to her, for her birds, okay? Number two, I will try to read that book in the month. A, chief, B, slight, C, current, and D, patient. So you'll have two seconds to choose the correct answer. So, I, as, 
as you know when you answer such questions you try to uh, look carefully at the sentence and try to fit the words into the spaces you have to look at the meaning and see if which word suits the sentence okay so with month could it be patient month no could it be chief month no could it be slight month yeah I heard no so the answer is going to be current month and here current means this month okay number three they are with English grammar a secret b pure c warm and d familiar so they are with English grammar can I say they are secret with English grammar does it make sense can I say they are pure with English grammar again what do you think can I say they are warm with English grammar can I say they are familiar with English grammar yeah I can say they are familiar with English grammar and familiar means that they know English grammar okay familiar means that you you know something you are familiar with acquainted okay number four driving fast is a major in car accidents a factor b income c export and d contract so driving fast is a major in car accidents so you have one second to look for the answer no it's not income because income has to do with money okay so of course it's it's not the correct answer so the correct answer is going to be yeah factor very good so driving fast is a major factor in car accidents and here factor means is like a major um, uh, element or the major cause okay or reason for car accidents number five in some of Canada winter lasts for more than half the year a elements B designs C regions and D items so in some of Canada winter lasts for more than half the year a elements B designs C regions and D items So, of course, when we deal with such a sentence, you have to look at Canada and, of course, it is a country, yeah? So, which, which word is the correct answer? Is it elements, designs, regions, or items? You tell me excellent regions so in some regions of Canada winter lasts for more than half the year and of course here regions means areas okay or parts of Canada places like in the UAE we have the western region where we are living okay western part number six please your shoes when you come into the house please your shoes when you come into the house a remove b publish 
uh, C, imply, and D, ensure. Yeah, this is, a, this is a very easy one, yeah? Because most of us do, uh, do that when we enter our houses. So the answer is remove, take it off, okay? So please remove your shoes when you come into the house. Excellent. Number seven, she, some money to buy a new car. Okay, what do you do with money, yeah? A, heated, B, saved, C, dated, and uh, D, argued. So, what do you do with money? Do you heat money? Do you argue with money? And of course, when you argue means you discuss things or you just talk about something. Do you date it? No. Yeah. So, very good. The answer is going to be saved. So, she saved some money to buy a new car. Number eight. Old parents are upon their children's help and care. A. Capital. B. Conscious. C. Practical. And D. Dependent. Okay, just have a look carefully at the sentence and at the words. So, old parents are upon their children's help and care. A, capital, B, conscious, C, practical, and D, dependent. Yeah, again, I'll give you just one second to find the correct answer. Very good, dependent. So, old parents, they depend on the help and care of their children, okay? Sons or daughters. So, they depend, they need the help of their children, okay? Number nine, I tried hard to find A to this difficult problem. Always, what do you find to any problem? Okay, if you have a problem, what do you do with it? A, daughter. B, leadership. C, flower. And D, solution. So, I tried hard to find A to this difficult problem. A, daughter. B, leadership. Flower, C, and D, solution. Very good. Always you try to find a solution for any problem or to any problem. Number 10. She used a cleaner to the dust from the carpets. So she used a cleaner to the dust from the carpets. A. Smoke. B. Sweep. C. Bend. And D. Explore. So, of course, all of us do that in our houses. We use the cleaner to do what with the dust? Excellent. Sweep or to remove, okay, to remove the dust from the floor, let's say. Number. So, until here, this is... 10 items, we have here 10 items of the uh, test exam. Of course, we, I put another 10 for more practice, so there are 20, but in, the, in your uh, mid-year exam, you'll have only 10, okay? Number 11, many people take out a bank to buy a car which they can pay back in three to five years. A, loan. B, long, C, margin, and D, map. So, of course, what do you take from the bank, okay, in order to buy something or in order to uh, prepare a wedding or to build a house? What do you take from the bank and you have to pay it back? Yes, it's a loan. Very good. 
So many people take out a bank loan to buy a car which they can pay back in three to five years. Number 12, one of paying your Ittisalat bill is by the internet. You can pay in person. A, memory, B, behavior, C, method, and D, consumer. So, again, you have to look quick, to look carefully at the sentence and choose the correct answer. One of paying your Ittisalat bill is by the internet. You can pay in person. So, yeah, the correct answer is C, method. So, it's one method of paying your Ittisalat bill is, is the internet. You can pay in person. And again here, I can just remove the word method and say one way. So you can pay using the internet, or you can pay using or uh, going in person to the, to, uh, to the Ittisalat. So method here means way. <clears throat> Number 13, there is still of time to get there. A, plenty. B, quality, C, pen, and D, news. Of course, again, you try to look carefully at the sentence. There is still of time to get there. Plenty, quality, pen, news. Plenty, very good. Plenty of time means much time. Okay, lot of time. Number four, do you have experience in teaching? A, dangerous, B, frivolous, C, previous, and D, groogie. So, you have to look at, yeah, you have to look carefully at the sentence and try to uh, guess the meaning from the words okay what do you, when we talk about experience what is the word which which could come with it okay is it dangerous is it frivolous is it previous is it groogy whatever what do you think yeah previous so our sentence will be do you have previous experience in teaching it means that you have some experience, okay? It means that you taught before. Number 15, the computer will all the information you have entered. A, rush, B, pump, C, quarrel, and D, process. So, the computer will all the information you have entered. Yeah, excellent process. Okay. It will process because this is a verb. Number 16. Please list your in your CV. A sheets. B qualifications. C slaves. D sequences. Please list your in your CV. So of course, when we write the C, our CV, what should we put? Uh, what should we uh, write in our CV? Can we write sheets? Can we put slaves? Can we put sequences? Of course not. I can't put any of these of these words in my CV. The only word which I can uh, right in my CV is yeah qualifications so please list your qualifications in your CV number 17 your handwriting is very to mine a regular B significant C sim uh, sympathetic and D similar your handwriting is very to mine. Regular, significant, sympathetic, and similar. Which 
is the correct answer. Very good. D, similar, means it looks like it. Okay. Number 18. He has been to the new branch of the company in Dubai. A. Maintained. B. Transferred. C. Poisoned. And D. Prepared. Be careful here the sentence says to the new branch of the company in Dubai. So, which word are you going to choose? Yeah, it is transferred. And transferred here means to go and work in the other branch in, in another uh, city. Let's say this person is working here at the Western region. And he leaves here and go to work in the other, in the other place. In Dubai so he is transferred 19 the boy has a great as a musician a shade B Liberty C log and D potential the boy has a great as a musician a shade B Liberty C log and the potential yeah the correct answer is potential as a musician it means that he's good he's going to be a musician he's good deal is good in music also can mean talented number 20 he discussed the conditions of the new before he signed it. A. Data. B. Argument. C. Contract. And D. Trap. So, he discussed the conditions of the new before he signed it. So, of course, before you sign what? always what what you sign is a contract okay and mostly contract got got conditions and contract takes place between let's say a land uh, a land uh, lord and the person wants to uh, uh, buy a house or rent a house or buy a car we have contracts okay it's documented paper so until here we finishes the first part of the question which is MCQ okay and as we as you know you only have 10 questions multiple choice and they are all of four options which means four choices A B C or D okay and as I told you we put here 20 sentences for more practice okay let's see the other type of question This one is new, okay? Fill in the table with the correct form of the word opposite each sentence. So when we mean correct form of the word means the correct part of speech of the word. Okay? So when we talk, and remember when we said part of speech, we said that parts of speech are nouns, verbs, adverbs, or adjectives. Uh, I hope that you remember the lesson on the parts, uh, two lessons on parts of speech which we, which we uh, uh, gave. So you'll have a table like that. You'll have the word and then you have the sentence. And in the sentence there is a space. So let's look at the first part. You have the word satisfy. And the sentence is going to be like that. Our national team got results in the final match. Okay? So you can't take the word satisfy and put it as it is. You have to look and find the correct part of speech of this word 
okay, and put it in the space. So in order to answer such a question, you have to know the parts of speech of this word, and you have to know what type of word this one, what parts of speech of this word, and what word you should put in the space. The space needs what, okay? So here, satisfy, of course, it is a verb. Remember when we talked about verbs and we said the ending of verbs is F-Y, okay? Remember? Yeah, I, I think you, you remember and you know that. So, satisfy is a verb, and when we look at our sentence here, it says, our national team got results in the final match. What type of word we should put here, okay? The second word is value. Number two says, gold is a metal. Again, this is what I was telling you now. You have to look at the word, know the part of speech of the word, and then look at the sentence and try to figure out what Then you figure out the, the correct figure of speech or the correct form of the word to, f to put it in the space. Number three, or the word here is the word respectful. And the sentence, we should always, our parents and teachers. Special, number four, I like the country in spring. Populate, number five, the UAE has a of about 4 million people. So the way to answer such a question is that you have, as I said now, you have to look at the word, know its part of speech, is it verb, adverb, noun, adjective, and look at the sentence, figure out what part of speech you have to put in the space, and then just put the, the correct part of speech of the word. You don't take the word as it is and put it in the space, okay? Be careful with that. So, so for the first, for sentence number one, our national team got results in the final match. Of course, first of all, you have to think of the correct part of speech of the word in the space, okay, or in the blank. Here we have results. So our national team got something results in the final match. Of course, results is a noun. What is the type of word which comes before a noun and describes the noun? Excellent, adjective, very good. Then I need to use the adjective of the verb satisfy in my space. Then what will be the adjective? Satisfactory, okay? So it will be our national team got satisfactory results in the final match. Very good, value, number two. Gold is a metal. So, again, metal here is a noun. What is the word which I should use before a noun and it describes the noun? Here, of course, the word value is a verb or can be a noun. So, of course, what should I put here? Can I put two nouns together? Can I say something here, a noun and a metal? Of course, I can't. So, a word which describes the noun, as we said before, is, a, is an adjective. So, I should use the adjective of the word value. What is the adjective? Valuable. Very good. So, gold is a valuable metal. Number three, or the third word we have here, respectful. 
And I think you know the part of speech of the word respectful because the ending is F-U-L, yeah? I will help you, it's like careful, okay? So of course, we remember in our lesson of, uh, about parts of speech, we said that one of the endings of an adjective is full. So of course, respectful is an adjective. Number three, so let's look at the sentence. We should always, our parents and teachers. Again, you have here in the sentence, should, and then a space. Forget about always for the moment, okay? So, we should, what comes after a modal verb? What comes after should? Excellent, a verb. Remember, I know that you remember this from our lesson on parts of speech. So always when you find a modal verb, like should, can, could, and so on, you have to use another verb. So we need the verb of the, of the adjective respectful. What is the verb? Very good, respect. So the sentence would be, we should always respect our parents and teachers. Okay, the uh, word number four, we have special, and number four says, I like the country in spring. So here, I like the country in spring. Here, the, the space is going to describe what? Is it this space, is it, going, is it describing the country or the verb like? If it is talking about the verb, then I need an adverb. Very good. So my answer is going to be specially, because specially is the adverb. So it will be, I like the country, specially in spring. So I use the adverb of the word special. Populate. This is the last word, number five. The UAE has A of about four million people. Of course, populate is, populate is a verb, yeah? Remember? So, here when I have A, and then I have the verb has, so what should I put after A here? What should I put in, in this space? Is it a verb or the adjective or the noun or the adverb? Good. After A, I should put the noun. Very good. So what is the noun of the verb populate? Population. So the sentence will be, the UAE has a population of about 4 million people. So as we said, this is, I think this is new. You have to know the part of speech of the word, and you have to know the part of speech of the word which sh you should use in the space. It's not difficult, but you try to think carefully, okay? So, number one, it will be our national team got satisfactory results in the final match. Number two, gold is a valuable metal. Number three, we should always respect our parents and teachers. Number four, I like the country, especially in spring. And number five, the UAE has a population of about four million people. So, this is the kind of table you are going to find in the exam paper okay each space got one mark we have here another example of the same style for more practice okay so the word is qualification the sentence this job needs a highly person the second word inventive and number two sentence is, nowadays, a lot of are available everywhere. The word, strongly. And number three, a lot of exercise can our bodies. 
activate. Number four, all students have to, to participate in all classroom activities. Requirement, number five, surfing the internet smoothly, a high speed connection. So remember what we said is that you have to look at the word and try to figure out what part of speech you are going to use in the sentence. This job needs a highly person. Again, person is a noun and I need a word which describes the noun. Okay, so it should be what? An adjective, very good. So what is the adjective of the noun qualification? Qualified, excellent, qualified. Remember when we were talking about adverbs also in our lesson, we said I can put an ad adverb before an adjective, which, me, which mean very, okay? So remember that. Again, this is another clue to, uh, to uh, find the correct answer. Inventive, and we have two. Nowadays, a lot of are available everywhere. So I have here nowadays a lot of. What comes after a lot of? And then we have the verb after it, are. So what kind of a word, what is the part of speech of the word here? Of course, it is a noun, excellent. So, what is the noun of the word inventive? Excellent, inventions. So, nowadays, a lot of inventions are available everywhere. Then we look at sentence number three. A lot of exercise can our bodies. Again, we have here a modal verb, can, and of course, you know what we should put what kind of word we should use after a modal verb. I think you know that very well. Yes, it should be a verb, yeah? Excellent. So what is the verb of the adverb strongly? Strengthen. Okay, very good. Number four, all students have to participate in all classroom activities. So we have here to participate, they have to participate, and of course all this, this is the verb. So what is the word which comes after a verb? And it describes the verb, okay, it talks about the verb. Of course, it is an adverb. So I need to put the, act, the adverb of the uh, the uh, verb activate so i should use here actively so all students have to participate actively in all classroom activities of course requirement is a noun because it has the ending m-e-n-t so here number five surfing the internet smoothly a high speed connection so what this sentence misses what? It should have what in it? Yeah, I heard, I heard the answer, it should have a verb because there is no verb in the sentence. And remember we said that all English sentences should have a verb. So what is the verb of the noun requirement? Requires, of course, okay? So here, because this, this word or this sentence is uh, a fact, so we should use the present simple tense, okay? So that's why I put at the end of the verb S, requires. So surfing the internet smoothly requires a high speed connection. So this is the second, the second type of question, which is a bit new. And you ha have a table with five sentences, five spaces. You have to look at the word and put the correct form of the word in the space. Be careful. Don't forget that. Don't 
take the same word as it is. Don't use the same word as it is. You have to correct the word, okay? And of course, correction here means you have to use the correct or the suitable part of speech, okay? Good luck with that. Let's have a look at the last type of question. And we had a look at this in our last lesson when we dealt with the grammar question or the grammar part of that of the uh, test. We call that gloss test, okay? And I think we talked about it. When you have a passage or a small passage like that with some spaces and each space got a number and what should you do is that you go to, you see the number, you go to the questions, you'll find that you have to choose from, uh, to, to, to choose the correct answer of the, uh, from four options, okay? And you just circle or you write the word, whatever you like. So let's look at what we have here. When you go in the Arabian desert, you can see a wide area of sand. The camel is a very animal there, where water, grass, bushes, and plants are hardly seen. It has a large, with strong and sharp teeth that help him eat dry, hard food. The foot of that animal is flat and big to help that sandy area. The camel can stay without water for many days using the of fat in its back. So now we read all the passage. Let's look at, look at it just bit by bit in order to, to choose the correct answer. So the first one says when you go in the Arabian desert. Let's see the question to try to answer or to choose the correct answer for space number one. So you'll have it like that. Number one, A, forgetting, B, flying, C, shaking, and D, camping. So you have number one, you have four options to choose the correct answer, okay, from. So A, forgetting, B, flying, C, shaking, and D, camping. So, which one is the correct answer? When you go in the Arabian desert, so of course, when you go what? Very good, camping. So, this is the correct answer here. You can either circle D or just write the word in the space. Let's look at number two. You can see a wide area of sand. The camel is a very animal there, okay? So let's look at the, the uh, choices. Two, A, conscious, B, extreme, C, popular, D, essential. The camel is a very animal there. Of course, there he refers to the desert, okay? So which, what is the, which one is the correct answer? Of course, it's C, popular. Then we move on. We look at the third sentence here. It has a large with strong and sharp teeth that help him eat dry, hard food. So, of course, it has a large what with strong and sharp teeth. Number three, A, frame, B, mouth, C, block, D, bridge. So what do you think? He has a large what with teeth. Very good, mouth. Let's go back to the passage. So, it has large mouth with strong and sharp teeth that help him eat dry, hard food. The foot of that animal is flat 
and big to help that sandy area. So here we are look, looking at, of course, the foot big uh, of the animal is big and flat. Okay. So four a across b declare c refer and d wash so the foot of that animal is flat and big to help that sandy area to help her huh? very good cross Then we go back to the to the last sentence. The camel can stay without water for many days using the of fat in its back. Number five. A citizen. B motor. C mass. And D worry. So let's go back to the to the uh, text. The camel can stay without water for many days using the of fat in its back. So, which is the correct answer? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C or D? Excellent. Mass. So, the correct answer is C. Mass. So, as we said, this type of question is not new and again it's not difficult because you still have multiple choice okay so you have just to go back look at the text and be careful to choose of the correct number so if you are if the space has number five you go for the items of number five okay and then you choose Let's have another example. Let's have a look at another example. Again, it says choose the most suitable answer from A, B, C, or D. So, it says houses have changed a lot over the last 50 years in the UAE, but the has not. Summer in the Arabian Gulf and in the deserts is still hot. The need to have protection from the extreme summer heat has been the main in-house design both in the past and now. The other important factor has been the of materials. In the past, when people lived off the land as fishermen or farmers, they made the most of the plants and stones they had at hand. Later they were able to material for their houses from other countries so in first of all you try to read all the passage okay this is a tip for you to use in the in the um, when you answer this such type of, of question okay you try to read the whole passage as I did now and then you are to very closely look at each sentence because each sentence got a space okay so we go back to the first sentence houses have changed a lot over the last 50 years in the UAE but the has not okay so let's go and see the options of of the space number one a weather b leather c feather and d brother so, but the has not. So, they are talking about, of course, houses and that the UAE has developed. But be careful, there is something in the UAE which did not change. And then they give you a, cl a clue in the second sentence and they talk about summer. So, summer has to do with what? Is it weather? Is it leather? Is it feather? Is it brother? yeah it's weather so houses changed developed but the weather is the same okay let's go back to the text 
Summer in the Arabian Gulf and in the deserts is still hot. So we'll move to space number two. Okay? So for space number two, we have A, legally, B, successfully, C, extremely, and D, carefully. So summer in the Arabian Gulf and in the desert is still hot. So it will be what? Is it legally? Is it successfully? Is it extremely? Is it carefully? Of course, it is extremely hot. Okay. Then we look at the third sentence. The need to have protection from the extreme summer heat has been the main in house design both in the past and now. So, A, factory, B, tractor, C, factor, and D, house. So, the need to have protection from the extreme summer heat has been the main in-house design both in the past and now. So, three will be which one? Is it factory? Is it tractor? Is it factor? Is it house? So, the correct answer is very good. C, factor. Excellent. Let's go back to the text and read sentence number four and try to figure out the answer for space number four. The other important factor has been the of materials. So, let's look at the question. A, driver, B, kitchen, C, stability, and D, av availability. So we move, we go back to the text and read again. The other important factor has been the of materials. So number four, yeah, the correct answer is going to be D, availability. It means that the materials are available, the materials are there. Yeah, so we go back and try to answer, uh, read the last sentence and figure out the answer for the last space. In the past, when people lived off the land as fishermen or farmers, they made the most of the plants and stones they had at hand. Later, they were able to material for their houses from other countries. So we have... A, impress, B, improve, C, import, and D, imprison. So, later, they were able to material for their houses from other countries. So, if they, something from other countries, then it is what? C, import. Okay, so the correct word here is, of course, the word import, and the correct answer is C. So as we said before, in order to answer such a question, first you have to read the whole very small paragraph, and then try to look at each sentence and each space, okay, carefully, and then choose from the words uh, which you, you will find them under the passage. Be careful that you t look at the correct number. If the space has number one, you go and look at the other, uh, at number one options, okay? Because this may confuse you, okay? So this is the last, the last type of questions in the vocabulary test. As we said, we have we have three types of, of questions in the vocabulary test. The first one is multiple choice. 
The first one is multiple choice, and we have 10 items. Uh, also, we have the second type, which is the correcting the, uh, the word or the part of speech of the word, which is like it, the, the, the table we're talking about. Again, we have five options or five spaces. And the last type is this type, which is, we call it the gloss test, okay? Which again got five spaces, and you have to choose uh, the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Okay, then the last part uh, of the uh, exam paper is writing, and I think we tackled writing very good and very well in our writing lesson. So for the writing uh, part of the test, we have, you are going to write two things. You have to write an email of 20 to 40 words, and also you have to write an essay, and the type of, of essay uh, writing is argumentative, when you have two options or two um, uh, opinions, and you have to uh, talk about each one, and you have to give your own opinion about one of them, okay? You'll uh, have to write um, uh, in the essay uh, 150 to 200 words. And I think you remember how we uh, dealt with essay writing and all our uh, tips while doing it, okay? So, by the end of our lesson, uh, we all wish you good luck and best wishes. And don't worry, things are easy and manageable. Good Be luck. Be afraid of any of the test items we talked about. Everything is easy and manageable and you can do it very uh, well. Good luck, thanks.